This week I'm talking about my favorite orchestral piece from Frank Zappa's The Yellow Shark. That's right. Yes, yes. It's another episode of... Keith Horn's Chord of the Week. Frank Zappa's monumental album The Yellow Shark was released in November of 1993 and was the last album he released before his untimely death a month later. It's a live recording of Zappa's orchestral works rearranged for the Frankfurt-based Ensemble Moderne. My favorite piece on the album is the second to last track called Get Whitey. Here's how it starts. It's a haunting, pointillistic kaleidoscope of sound and texture. And it's as much heart-wrenching as it is hypnotic. I couldn't have put it better myself. But here I want to focus on the last chord voicing. It's an E-flat 7, sharp 11, over A, which is the sharp 11. But check out this voicing. Now if this voicing were an octave higher, it would be more acceptable to people's ears, but Frank Zappa was not interested in acceptable or conventional, which is the key to his genius throughout his entire career. The musical choices he makes comes from a place of absolute freedom. In fact, one of his first releases, his second release actually, was called Absolutely Free. And he wasn't talking about the price of the record. He was pointing to one of his founding philosophies of creativity and life. Anything, anytime, anywhere, for no reason at all. Or, afnra. So applying this chord voicing to that framework fits right in. And it's this unfettered freedom from rules and restrictions that Frank Zappa embodies that has always been a source of inspiration for me as a composer. If you haven't heard The Yellow Shark, I highly recommend it, even though it's not the easiest listen you'll ever have because there's some very dense music in there. It's just a brilliant, brilliant album. Tom Waits cites it as one of his favorite albums, saying this about it. It's the clarity of his perfect madness and mastery. Frank reigns and rules with the strangest tools. Taking another look at this chord, it's not very strange or unique when you play sort of a standard version of it. But it's the voicing and the orchestration that gives this chord its signature. The lower portion of the chord is brass only. And he has the trombone in the lowest voice and the tuba and C trumpet in unison on a G. Even the distribution of the voices is unconventional. I normally don't talk about orchestration in these videos, but I had to point this one out because of how interesting and unique it is. Your work is so interesting, distinctive and unique. So let's take the Get Whitey chord through some exercises. The first exercise, because the voicing is the key to this chord, let's keep it intact and plane it through the plagal cycle. And I'm going to build it like this. So starting in E-flat through the plagal cycle. And the second exercise is to just take a major 7th chord over its own sharp 11 and use voice leading to take it through the authentic cycle. And I'll start in C. So 
good! So that's another small harmonic piece of the enormous and brilliant catalog of the late, great Frank Zappa. So thank you for watching, thanks for listening, and happy practicing. Yeah, who this? This beat, yo, who this? Yo, who this? Who this?